So what is going on guys, Nathan Prince 93 here with another video and today should be the final episode of the Microsoft Suite you know, on the iPad Pro that we've been doing. Today we're going to touch on Microsoft Outlook and see how it works with not only cursor support but multitasking and see how it compares to the normal Outlook application. Now it's going to be a little bit watered down so if you guys want something that's as good or a little bit better than the desktop version, I don't think you're going to get it but for something on the go, definitely check it out guys. But let's get into this video. So guys, like I mentioned, today we're going to go over Microsoft Outlook. And this should be the final installment of the Microsoft Suite series. I actually vaguely forgot about Microsoft Office, but you guys mentioned it, you guys wanted it, you guys wanted to see it. So we're going to open it up, show you guys how it works with iPadOS 14 and above, see if you can do the multitasking, see if it's taken over cursor support, and kind of see if it's a good viable option for not only people that use Microsoft, but people that use just any other Gmail or any other mail client period to see if they want to use Microsoft Outlook as their only mail client as well. So, because Microsoft Outlook does allow you to have more than just Microsoft related emails, right? So you can have your Microsoft related email, but you could also have your Gmail or any other hosted email that you do currently have. So I only really use it for work email, so I have my, my work email that's associated with my Microsoft account, but I did want to walk you guys through first to see if it has cursor support. So if I go along the top, go along the bottom, you can see that on the bottom it does have the cursor support on the top. There isn't really you know, a need for it. You can see that I can have the two different mailboxes, which is the focused and the other section. And I'm going to go with the other section, click on one of these emails, and you can see that, like I said, it does take over cursor support. So you have that 13.4 cursor support already enacted with Microsoft Outlook. So that's what it is. Up here you have your different options, you can trash it, you can archive it, you can make it full screen, make it normal screen again, click on here to get the rest of your inbox going. You can even add another inbox like I told you guys, so I'm going to walk you guys through how to add one. So if I go into here, you can add an email account just like you would on any other platform, right? So here I'm going to sign in to my personal email and show you guys that I'm able to sign in with a Gmail account. So I can add account, it takes me to the Google login, as you can see. And then all of a sudden, I have my Gmail account right here. You just got to give it a second to update, but I'm going to get out of here for now and come back to it when need be. But you can see that I do have a security alert that I was trying to sign in to another email client. So let's go back to the Office one, click back on the Gmail one, and we'll come back to it once it's done updating. But the next thing I do want to check is to see if it works with multitasking. So if I wanted to grab another Outlook, move it over to the side, you can see that two instances of Outlook work simultaneously. And if we wanted to bring a third one up, it should work, bring it up in the middle. So like I said, you have three different instances of the same application that you, that you can kind of throw around, move it to whatever side you want, let it take over, switch it to this side. So you can, you're able to manipulate the app however you want or however you see fit from a multitasking perspective on the iPadOS and the iPadOS limitations of having multiple of having only three instances of the same application. But at least you know because there were some Microsoft applications that did not take advantage of the multitasking like we saw with Excel and OneNote. It just it didn't work, right? But what I did want to also check was to make sure that it did work with other instances of other applications, right? So let's try one more Microsoft Suite app. Move this over so you can see that it does work with Microsoft Teams. And if I wanted to open up, let's say, Safari, a non-Microsoft related app, that also works. So that's the beauty of having multitasking and having it work how it's supposed to work. So if we move this over, I want to show you guys the capabilities of just the email service itself. So to reply to an email, there's two ways to reply. You can click down here and just reply here as if it's like an instant message. That's the idea behind this reply bar down here. And then you can also click on the three dots and press reply up here. So if I want to press reply, you can see that it brings up a separate kind of like window, even though it's within the same window. So this is something that I wish they kind of fixed because you can see that once this window opens up, you can't really use anything else on the screen, right? So if I want to say, hello, I'm on the magic keyboard. It's working perfectly fine. You can load. So as you guys saw, you can load the previous email to see everything that's going on. You can add a calendar update down here. You can add any file, whether it's a file from OneDrive, from iCloud, from your photos, it's all there. You can give access to your camera. And then you also have all the formatting features for when you're typing out. So changing the body, bold, italics. So it's simple, simple things, but it's all there for you and it's all accessible right then and there from, from the email. And if you X out of here and try to reply, so, I'm gonna, so I, I just discarded that draft, but if I want to reply from here, the UI is a little bit different, right? So it's just at the bottom, it lets you say, hello, thanks for watching. 
please sub to the channel, right? And you can see that it's a little bit different, but again, you can full screen it and it brings it up just like it would the normal route. So to each their own, however you guys want to figure out how to reply to emails and things like that. So, and then if I go back, I did want to check on my Gmail. So you can see that all of my Gmail notifications and Gmail email is here, right? Just like the my regular actual Microsoft email was. But just to jump back to the regular Outlook email, this is it in a nutshell, guys. So you have your two sections. You can create your folders. It synchronizes across all of your devices, all of your applications, all of your operating systems as well, which is a beautiful thing to see. And Microsoft OneDrive and Microsoft Outlook is just a great email client. It is a free app also. So you don't you don't need a subscription to Microsoft to use Outlook as your mail client. If you want to use your Outlook as your Gmail mail client, then by all means, go for it. You do not need to have an actual Microsoft subscription or Microsoft email in order to use Outlook. So keep that in mind. Outlook is a completely free email client for any sort of email subscriber, whether it is Gmail or Hotmail or Yahoo or whatever else is out there nowadays, right? Keep that in mind if you do want to use Outlook as your mail client. And then I do want to walk you guys through maybe the settings options just so you can see exactly what you have going on here. So these are your mail accounts. These are your storage accounts. Uh, I have my default. You can add your signature, which by default, it does get Outlook for iOS. So you can customize the email client however you see fit through the settings menu, guys. Change how you sort the emails by. You can change what's a focus, what's in the other section. And then you can also create your own different folders and inbox folders right here. So you can reorganize everything that you want, move the sent items wherever you want. You can add different ones. So if I want to add the junk one in here, it shows up there. Press a little check mark and boom, you're customizing your mail client however you want, guys. But that's pretty much Outlook in a nutshell. If you guys have any other questions on Outlook, leave them in the comments below, but let's get back to the normal view. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Like I mentioned, Outlook isn't as perfect as a desktop version, at least not yet. And it's kind of made more so as a mobile solution. But what I do like about it is the fact that you can use the Outlook app as a mail client for any email service that you currently have. So that's Gmail, Yahoo, or any other third party one, or any new one that's been coming out recently. So. I like the Outlook mail client as a mail client for the iPad Pro. It goes, it's a good competitor to Spark Mail, which is what I use personally. But overall, Outlook is a great application just to get mail done on the go, calendar on the go, and just be able to kind of synchronize it throughout all of your devices. But that's gonna do it for this video. Like I mentioned, comment below some of the things that you also wanna see on Outlook, what you expect from it, what you would need from it in order to be like your one and only mail client on both your iPhone and your iPad. Let me know, guys. But that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, peace.